don't feel that I, ha I, I have something I want to say in, an, in any ordinary way. I think I have an awful lot. I, I feel that in some submerged way. There are many different things I would like to say, but I don't know what they are until I've, until I've gotten started. What I see is that I pr pr propose a certain project to myself, and then what I have to say is related to the, that type of project. I've, the last years, last number of years, I've tried to write song cycles for small chamber orchestra and, and voice for all the poets that I knew and liked, so that they are very different. I mean, Ezra Pound is one thing and, and, and Marianne Moore is another. Uh, but I did start with Robert Lowell, who was one I, I knew quite well personally, and then Elizabeth Bishop, and and uh, these. Uh, what I wanted to say, it was not me exactly. It was the poem. I chose the poems that I suppose involved saying what I wanted to say, but I didn't think about it that way. I thought I was just simply writing. What I th how I felt about this poem, but they are very different. I mean, uh, a wo woman's poetry is very different from a man's poetry, for instance, uh, and I'm very aware of that. Now this was an old Gustav Holst, who had difficulty in seeing and was, was rather frail. And so you always had to play our compositions for him because he couldn't, he, he couldn't read the score because of his eyesight. And I remember he always said to me, you know, he, you, he said, you don't play the piano well enough, you play so many wrong notes all the time. I always remember that as a vivid thing. Uh, he was partly right, unfortunately. <laughs> he didn't help me very much, really, except what did help me was the fact that they gave that, since I sang in the Harvard Glee Club, they, we sang one piece called The Dirge for Two Veterans, a, a setting that Holtz made of Walt Whitman, which I thought was very beautiful. And then in the Boston Symphony, he, he I think it's called the Hymn of Jesus or something like that. It was a gigantic piece that he conducted with the BSO and Harvard Glee Club and other people sang in it. I thought that was a wonderful piece. And I, at that time, I really loved it very much. I've never been a great fan of the planets, but this piece seemed really great. And then there was a St. Paul suite that he wrote that I, I did like very much at that time. <laughs> contributing in any ordinary sense to the history of music. What I do feel is that I've always loved so many kinds of music, Bach and Beethoven and Guillaume de Machaut and all kinds of things. And I feel that my music is somehow a thank you note to all of that. And it's really more of that, that I'm just saying when well, this is really, I've always loved all these other things and, and my music is simple. It's not a, not, a, not a violent, as some certainly 
many composers felt they were writing, making a fist against the old. I don't feel I'm doing that. I'm just sort of thanking them for all the pleasure and the interest they've given me. I hope I didn't talk too much. I always talk too much.